Good morning everyone, welcome to Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person, Quarter 1, Module 8, The Body as Limitation and Transcendence. Life is a raw material. We are artisans. We can sculpt our existence into something beautiful, or debase it into ugliness. It's in our hands. Kathy Better, our uncertainty about many things stems from our limitations as human beings. Specifically, we learn that many of our limitations are due to our being embodied beings. This does not mean, however, that our bodies are merely hindrances to our desires and aspirations. Just as much as our bodies limit us, our bodies also enable us to create meaning in the world. Hence, the body is both a source of limitation and possibility. In this module, you will perform different activities that will help you better understand and evaluate your own limitations and possibilities for transcendence. Read, follow, and accomplish the activities. Have a meaningful day. At the end of this module, you should be able to, 1. Explain how the human body imposes limits and possibilities for transcendence, and, 2. Distinguish the limitations and possibilities for transcendence. Now that you know your targets for the day, here are the new words you will encounter in this module. Limitation is a restriction, lack of capacity, or restrictive weakness. Possibility is the thing that may happen given your condition and circumstance. Transcendence refers to our ability to explore and surpass our limits. Body is a material entity extended in space observable and measurable. Potential is the ability of a person that may be developed that will lead to future success. Paradox is a statement that brings together two opposing ideas as true at the same time. Free will enables us to do actions whenever we want to and make self-determination possible. It is also the capacity to choose a course of action from various alternatives. Consequence is the result or effect of an action or condition. Urag is a bicall term that means a kind of power, passion, or energy emanating from an individual. Self-awareness refers to the person having a clear perception of oneself including his or her thoughts, emotions, identity, and actions. Self-determination refers to the awareness of one's action and the notion that oneself is the source of action. Let's do the pretest. Appraise your prior knowledge about the topic. Read and understand the following questions and write the answer in your notebook. 1. Which of the following best describes the bicall word for ureg? A. Love. B. Compassion. C. Greed. D. Focus. 2. Which situation below best demonstrates transcendence? A. Richie highlights her talents and values, but resents her teacher's feedback about her reading comprehension. B. Susan spends extra time in the tennis court to perfectly execute the single backhand stroke. C. Mel compares himself with others and resolves to imitate their way of doing things. D. Bernard believes that he knows himself better than his friends do so he does not mind whatever they say about him. 3. Which situation below demonstrates self-determination? A. Ned compares himself with others and resolves to imitate their ways of doing things. B. Bernard believes that he knows himself better than his friends do, so he does not really mind whatever they say about them. C. Edgar helps others especially when requested to do so. D. Tun understands that if he studies hard, he will get high grades and land a good job. 4. Which of the following statements is true about self-awareness? A. Marta denounces immorality by revealing an illicit affair between two married co-workers publicly. B. June expressed his passion for fairness in labor practice by leading a union strike. C. I am a student of Legaspi City Science High School. D. Sess secretly nurtures her love for a married man and decided later to overcome her feelings for him. 5. Which is not an expression of free will? A. Study the lessons. B. Go to sleep. C. Shotgun marriage. D. Watch movie. Learning activity. One of the things done during the community quarantine or lockdown because of COVID-19 was to watch a favorite action movie or read a favorite novel. The millennials enjoyed watching their favorite superheroes. In your notebook draw a table, as shown below, of at least five superheroes and their heroic acts from movies you watched. Share what heroic acts the superhero did that make him, her, distinct from other superheroes. 
Movies about superheroes are watched because they narrate amazing abilities which an ordinary person cannot do. Superman can fly. Iron Man can escape an explosion. These are superhuman abilities. Aside from the effects experienced while watching the movie, how the director conceptualized and imagined the whole story amazes the audience. The story of Superman was conceptualized during the 1930s when mafia-led crimes were rampant in America. Americans love Superman because of their desire for a safe society. Baikalanos have their own superheroes celebrated every August during the Ibalong Epic Festival. They are Baltog, Handyong, and Bantong. The furious Baltog chased the Tandayag, wild boar, who destroyed the crops of the Ibalong. He killed it with his bare hands. Because of this marvelous feat, he was acknowledged chief of the local hunters. Handyong, the central figure in the epic, cleared the land of predatory monsters, inspired inventions like boat making, reintroduced agriculture, and set up code of laws and established golden age in the land. Bantong, a good friend of Handyong, killed the half man and half beast named Rabbit, who could change its enemies into rocks. Because of the presence of these men, there is peace in the land. What is interesting in these superhero stories is how they project superhuman abilities at the same time reveal the limitations seen in everyday existence. Ordinary persons only have a certain amount of strength to carry things or to accomplish tasks. Accidents cannot be prevented entirely, no matter how careful one is. One could only move as fast as he could from one place to another. Despite all advances in technology, no one can ever reverse the course of time. These are some of the limitations of embodied beings. Human existence is an embodied existence. Many things that are related to the existence of a person are related to the body, age, sex, race, relationships, etc. Birthdays are counted to determine age from the time one is born into this world. Parents didn't count the child's age from the time they fantasized on having the child. Age count begins as soon as the embodied existence, not imagined existence, began. The body one is born with also determines the sex. Gender is not completely synonymous with sex. Gender is defined culturally rather than biologically. Race or the line of descent among the groups of the first human beings in the evolution is determined by the body. Finally, biological relationships, mother, father, and siblings, are connected to embodied existence. In other words, a large part of who the person is and how the person defines himself slash herself is determined and delineated by the body. The details written in biodata are not things one can simply choose or change, birthday, age, sex, and familial relationships, lest falsifying of information about oneself will happen. In this sense, one is confined to these details about oneself. Confine comes from the Latin word confines, made of two words, con, together finus, end, limit, or territory. It is as if bodies are made up of fixed boundaries that cannot be transgressed. On limitation, the body-related aspects are not products of free choice. They have, in a sense, been given on a permanent basis. It then comes as no surprise that the body is the source of frustration to many. Some people are not happy with their age, sex, or familial relationship. Some people wish that they were born at a different time, of a different sex, or a different family. The frustration of this kind put the body in a negative light as if it is some form of imprisonment. Learning Activity 2 The 5-minute pause provides a chance for you to stop. Reflect on the concepts and ideas that have just read, make connections to your prior knowledge or experience, and try to evaluate its content. Processing questions 1. Which achievement clearly shows my limitation? 2. Of the ways I did to have such achievements, which one do I value most? Why? 3. What have I learned from the activity? The body is transcendence. There is an important paradox about the body that we need to understand. While the body limits us, the very same limitations create opportunities for us. 
We bike Galanos have the term URAG. Wilmer Joseph Tria, a professor at Aitneo de Naga University, discusses in brief the word URAG. It is blind energy that prompts us to action. Everyone has URAG, a drive. This is a kind of power, passion, or energy emanating from an individual. This propels him, her, to certain movements. However, it lacks a sense of direction. It does not have eyes, a sense of vision, or understanding. It is a blind ability. It is like a child, restless and persistent because it cannot get what it wants. It is a strong prompting, but it is aimless. The URAG is blind energy, it lacks a sense of direction, vision, or understanding. The body needs somebody who will tame the energy, a visionary, and a reason. Philosophers point to another unseen aspect of the human person which along with the body defines us as a person. That is the soul. It enables us to exercise thought, possess awareness, interiority, and the capacity to reach out to the outside world and another person. We can conclude that a person is composed of body and soul, an embodied soul. The body and soul come together to form a whole as a person. I give it self-awareness. Self-awareness refers to the person having a clear perception of oneself, including his or her thoughts, emotions, identity, and actions. It also enables a person to reach out to other people and establish meaningful relationships with them. This gives us the idea that we are different from others even though we are twins. The soul gives us also self-determination. This refers to the awareness of one's actions and the notion that one is the source of action. It also gives us free will and awareness of its consequences. This gives us the reason why we need to wear a mask when we are outside of our homes. Why do we need to follow the IATF, COVID-19 rules and regulations and strictly observe the safety protocols? Your simple achievement cannot be achieved without your body. Taming your body creates an opportunity, thus it focuses on your life goal. We are directed to transcend to our body's limitation. Because of this limitations, you are open to the possibility of learning something new. Athletes would understand best what this paradox of the body as limitation and possibility means. The best athletes we know today, Manny Pacquiao, Hidalin Diaz, Roger Federer, Michael Phelps, are bound together by a common story. All of them have been subjected to rigorous training at a very young age. Pacquiao's first coach Sardo Mejia shares how Manny has been so disciplined with his training at the age of 15. He would always wake up at 4 a.m. to jog. Every day was a difficult day of subjecting the body to exhausting and painful exercises. He knew he was small, compared to all the other boxers who grew up in the West. In the world of boxing, this can be a source of limitation but Manny used his limitation as an opportunity to define boxing in a new way. Because of him, boxing became less about the bulk of one's muscles or the might of height. It became more the phenomenal experience of watching the beautiful unity of hand, foot, and the head work. Deepening, the paradox of possibility and limitation. We often complain that we cannot be everything we want to be. In this lesson, the paradox of the body as both limitation and possibility teach us to be thankful that we cannot be everything, because trying to be so would end us up being nothing at all. This is a paradox. A paradox is a statement that brings together two opposing ideas as true at the same time. In the outset, a paradox seems senseless or absurd. Upon closer look, however, the contradiction is sending a very powerful message. It is through our limitations that possibilities become real. To illustrate, we use the analogy of a potter. He scoops mud from the floor and mixes it with water and makes the clay, throws it into a potter's wheel and with his firm and gentle hands, shapes it as he wishes. What the potter does is put a form to the shapeless clay. But this entails putting boundaries and limits to the free and shapeless clay. Without those limits, the mud may just as well be nothing, a shapeless entity spread out on the ground for stepping on. The same is true of the limitation of the body. 
Even if we complain about our age, height, race, or sex, we must not fail to understand that these are the limits that enable us to create our own unique identity. We may not be everything, but we have to start with something in order to make our existence count in the world. Human existence is embodied existence. We are not angels. We have bodies. Many things that are related to our existence as human beings are related to our bodies that limit us in many ways. So, we have to take care of our bodies, our limitations are due to our being embodied beings. This does not mean, however, that our bodies are merely hindrances to our desires and aspirations. Just as much as our bodies limit us, our bodies also enable us to create meaning in the world. Hence, the body is both a source of limitation and possibility. Application Take some time to look at your body in front of the mirror. Identify those parts you like most about your body. Identify those parts you hate the most. Write everything down in a tabulated form, one column for likes, another for dislikes. Now focus on the column of dislikes. For each item you write, Focus on the things that you won't be able to do or miss if that body part is lost, destroyed or severely injured. Write at least one for each body part you dislike. Going back to the same column of dislikes, think of your achievements and ask yourself whether or not those achievements were possible to achieve even though the body parts you dislike were injured or permanently destroyed. Finally, think of all of your dreams and aspirations. Ask yourself if it is possible to achieve those dreams and aspirations if your disliked body part was injured or permanently destroyed. After asking yourself these questions, write a letter of reconciliation in your journal addressing your body expressing everything you feel about it. Post-test Read and understand the following questions and write the answer in your notebook. 1. Which situation below demonstrates self-determination? A. Bernard believes he knows himself better than his friends do, so he does not mind whatever they say about them. B. Net compares himself with others and resolves to imitate their ways of doing things. C. Edgar helps others especially when requested to do so. D. Tun understands that if he studies hard, he will get high grades and get a good job. 2. Which of the following statement is true about self-awareness? A. I am a student of Legaspi City Science High School. B. June expressed his passion for fairness in labor practice by leading a union strike. C. Marta denounces immorality by revealing an illicit affair between two married co-workers publicly. D. Sess secretly nurtures her love for a married man and decided later to overcome her feelings for him. 3. Which is not an expression of free will? A. Go to sleep. B. Shotgun marriage. C. Study the lessons. D. Watch movie. 4. Which situation below demonstrates transcendence? A. Mel compares himself with others and resolves to imitate their way of doing things. B. Richie highlights her talents and values and resents her teacher's feedback about her reading comprehension. C. Susan spends extra time on the tennis court just to perfectly execute the single backhand stroke. D. Bernard believes he knows himself better than his friends do, so he does not mind whatever they say about him. 5. Which of the following best describe the Baikal word for urag? A. Greed. B. Compassion. C. Love. D. Focus. Assignment. Explore your own possibilities for transcendence. Copy and fill out the table with the appropriate responses. Here are the answer key. Thank you for watching.